Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to look at how to apply materials to 3D models in Unity. Certainly it can be done externally to Unity, like if you're using a 3D model or like Blender, you apply the materials there and then import the whole package into Unity. But you can actually apply materials right in Unity, which is particularly helpful because if you design the object in Unity and then you apply materials in Unity, now you've basically made the need for an external program to do that uh, almost unnecessary. There's still one external program you need for the modeling, which I'll get to in just a minute. But the more that you can do internally to Unity, it's less applications that you have to learn, and then you don't have to deal with the issues where things aren't quite compatible. So anyways, the way that this is done in Unity, there is a free to use add-on called Pro Builder. I typically I typically don't cover add-ons, but this add-on is actually owned by Unity. They purchased it, and so now it's part of the package. The only thing is, for whatever reason, it's not part of the default Unity build. So you do have to download it from the Asset Store, but it does not cost anything. It is free to use. So you would just click on the Asset Store tab. You would search for Pro Builder. As of recording, it is Pro Builder 2.x. You would just click on download and then you click on import and then what happens is this new menu gets added and in this new menu you will see pro builder but before we get to that we need to create the materials that will be applied to the object so as i said an external program is still needed in this case it's not used for the modeling it is used to create the image that will be part of the material. However, that's still simpler than importing materials. So I use a 2D paint program. It used to be called Anime Studio. I'm not sure what the new version is called. The version I use is still called Anime Studio, but the newer versions, they've been, I believe they're bought out and the name has changed. But that's what I use to make the 2D images is Anime Studio. So once you've drawn those images, you just have, and in this case, I save them as PNGs, to import them, it's just drag and drop. It's just one, two, three. It's that easy to get the PNG image into Unity. Now that's the first step. Now this, these have to be turned into materials. So if you right click and you choose create, we'll choose material, and we'll call this Dirt. Now, if you've made a lot of changes to this material, because when you select a material, there's lots and lots of things you can change. If you're going to keep those settings across multiple materials, what you can do is you can just duplicate the material rather than right clicking, create material, and then change all these settings again. Now, in this case, there aren't any settings that I've changed, but if you want to know how to do that, you just select the asset that you want and you do Control D. And I'll do it in one time, Control D. So yeah, if you've made a lot of changes to an asset and you don't want to start from scratch, you can just duplicate that ac ac asset by selecting it and clicking on Control D. So that one's dirt. So let's take the dirt image and drop it here on Albedo. And for this one, this will be the grass side. And then we'll take the grass side image and drop it there. And then this one will be grass top. So we'll click on that. And then we'll take our grass top and drop it on Albedo. Okay, so at this point we now have the images imported and we have the materials created. Now this is where we jump into Pro Builder. So as I said, you're gonna to wanna to click on the asset store search for pro builder download import and then you get the tools menu so if you click on tools and you go click on pro builder we just want the pro builder window now in a separate video i covered how to do a new shape in this one we're going to look at the material editor so we're just going to quickly create a block here so we're just going to click on new shape build cube close that and then let's zoom in with the mouse wheel and it's kind of overlapping with the camera. So I'm just gonna, uh, let's close this, move this along the axis. So it's not right on top of the camera. 
and then what we'll do is we'll go back to tools pro builder pro builder window so let's go to the material editor so the material editor we want our three materials so not the images but the actual materials when you start getting a lot of materials what you might want to do is create separate folders keep the images in one folder and keep the materials in a separate folder just to differentiate them so and it doesn't matter which one of these you use you're just bringing these in from the main asset section into pro builder so we'll just put dirt for this one we'll do grass side for this one and we'll do grass top for this one now before we actually start applying the materials there's three basic concepts involving a model that you need to understand and they're up here in the uh, selector window up here so you have the object selector so you select the object as a whole in its entirety you have the vertex selector so what's a vertex a vertex is a single point see that that's a vertex see that that's a vertex that's a vertex so on and so forth and in fact this one doesn't but you could have vertexes all throughout a side okay and the more vertexes the more points you have con can control so it's not the purpose of this demo but just to demonstrate see how i pulled out that one corner i'm moving that one vertex so let's undo that second concept is edge so edge is basically the um it's multiple vertexes plus the connectivity between those vertexes is really the best i can describe it so if you select two sorry let's go to if you select two vertices then essentially you have an edge so if you click here for the edge selector same thing say i want to click on an edge see i've moved out that edge okay so vertices is a single point and edge is multiple points and then the facing is really that surface that the points and edges define so this would be a facing so there's the four points with their edges this would be a facing okay the reason why i'm saying this is because the material is applied to the facing and right now this side of the cube is one facing but as i mentioned you could have multiple points along this facing and it this side excuse me and it would have multiple facings uh let's just do a quick demo of that so if we put this onto the scale tool and you hold shift watch what happens i now have one two three facings and there might be a reason why you'd want to do that maybe there's some reason why you'd want to have a facing in the middle so let's just undo that so for this particular object one side is one facing but a side can be multiple facings okay so now let's ap apply the material to the facings so again with the facing tool selected we'll start with the top and we have grass top you can either click on the alt and the four key or you can just click on the button that says that and the grass top has now been applied at this point it's really just rinse and repeat so again you want to make sure that you have the facing tool selected you just click on that side from this symbol i can tell i still have the scale which doesn't matter if you want you can click on the plus sign but as long as you're selecting the facing so this is going to be the grass side just as this is going to be the grass side just going to click on the hand rotate this around so we can get at the other sides this will also be a grass side we'll take rotate around to the back this will also be a grass side and then we'll look at the bottom so we can add the dirt bottom 
And that's it. You have that quickly created a passable Minecraft block. Now in Minecraft, there are a few other complications, like when you're hitting on it, cracks appear. That's really an entire different tutorial. This is just about doing the kind of static material. Again, in this case, it's a Minecraft block, but you could do this with anything that you wanted. This is just a nice, simple one that could be done in a bite-sized demonstration rather than something with a lot of facings that would take a lot of time uh, to do. Very simple application of materials in this one. And you could just close your windows. And let's just get this lined up with the camera. Let's see how it is at the moment. If we click on the camera, eh, let's just lower the block a little bit. There we go. And there you go. You have a passable Minecraft block. Okay, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you would like to see more examples of applying materials, just let me know. If you uh, just leave a comment, do a like if you, if you care to. And that should be about it. I plan on doing more coverage of ProBuilder. As I mentioned, I usually don't cover add-ons. However, again, ProBuilder is owned by Unity. And so even though it's not part of the default package, it, easily, it is easily downloaded and installed. So again, if you have any questions, just let me know, and I hope this was helpful.